some challenges today and what you'll need if you want to join in is three apples that's two three apples um some paper like a fair sort of chunk of paper um pens or colors or even just pencils if you want pencils um and scissors so i want you to try and guess what challenges we might be doing with these so that is apples pens paper pencils scissors yeah so we're gonna have lots of fun with these challenges i hope and once you've done the challenges if you could if you want to you can take photos of them and if you put them on your instagram stories and then tag norwich yfc in it and then we can have a look and see whether you did a better job than me i think some of these might go well some of them might not i don't know so let's see so the first one i'm going to do requires the paper oh gosh don't hit yourself in the paper requires the paper so if everyone grabs a bit of paper we're going to see if we can do some origami i'm okay at origami i think i've done it before and found it like all right but i've deliberately gone for one that is more difficult or at least it looks a lot more difficult rather than like the easy dog one so i'm gonna move the camera so you can see the bit of paper that i'm working on and then oh button right so that's the bit of paper no nope. okay so can everyone see that bit of paper so the first thing i'm going to try and do if you guys want to follow along is try and make a star so you need to start with a square bit of paper so i'm just going to fold it like that and then try and rip this bit off so i start with a square bit um it'd be quite bad if this is where i could go wrong oh scissors i'll cut it off that's a lot easier yeah so you end up with um, a square bit of paper and then you get rid of those so i've got this square bit and then what i need to do is fold it like that so you take um it like that yes okay we've got it and then okay I'm confused already by the next step. Like that? No. Like that? Yeah, maybe. Okay, right. Have people gotten that far? How are people going? Have people gotten that far? Ooh. Okay. So, it says bring the left edge of the triangle to the top edge. So, the left edge is that side. Bring it to the top edge, so like that. Yeah, I think so. And then the next step, oh, turn it over. Okay, I can do that step. And then fold the triangle in half by bringing the left corner over to the right corner. And it should look like that. Ah, yeah, well, I have done it right. So, you fold that bit up there, you turn it over, and then you fold that bit over. There. and there we go we have not much 
Okay, and then open up the flap and squash it down. Is that the flap? What's the flap? Oh, okay. Like that? I think it's like that. Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So how are people getting on with this? Have you got to that point yet? Not even sure if this is the right thing. Uh, keep. Then right. Okay, so once you've gone round it all and then squashed all the bits together, so then go round to the next one and squash it like that, maybe. I think that's right. We will then go to the next bit of paper that you have to fold and do the same with. So fold like that. Okay, so that's one bit. Doesn't look very star-like, but I'm rolling with it, I'm rolling with it. Okay, so this one, go like that and then fold in half like that. And then like that. And then, oh. Like, this is no longer looking like the bit that I wanted. Um, right. So apparently this bit should slot in like that. No, like that. And you have a star. It's gone wrong. So I want you guys to see if you can try a star. And get it to go better than that, because this is this is just a disaster, I think. Yeah. So yeah, if you are able to do an origami star, take a photo of it, put it on Instagram and tag us in it. We will have a look and see who can do the better star, because this is a mess. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first challenge. The next challenge is to see who can draw a picture of themselves using their wrong hand so if you are right-handed see if you can do it with your left hand if you are left-handed see if you can do it with your right hand i'm just going to turn this around nope <laughs> So if you guys can see the bit of paper, which you can, brilliant. I'll move this out the way. And I'm going to see how good I am. This is not working. Oh, well. Right. How good I am at drawing a picture of myself using my left hand. So we're going to see how it goes. Who thinks they are the best person at drawing with the incorrect hand? Um, because I think I will be pretty bad at this. So, what do you start with when drawing a picture of yourself? I think you start with the head. So, I'm going to do this with my left hand and see how this goes. So, okay, that didn't go as bad as I thought it would. It's a bit more like a potato, but I'm rolling with it. And then eyes. So all I remember from art lessons is that eyes were supposed to go like halfway down rather than at the top. So I'm going to do my eyes like here. Oh, that looks not great. And then this one. 
and then okay so I've now got uneven eyes and then nose okay that, that went all right and a mouth oh gosh that's a not it okay that's fine we can pretend that's not there okay what do I do after that so I'm gonna do some hair and then and then eyes oh, okay And then I've got longer hair. Oh, it's making my hair look a bit curly. I don't have curly hair, but that is fine. And then what else do I need to do for that? Ah, teeth. Yeah, oh, that looks brilliant. Okay, so this is my self-portrait. Um, I think it looks absolutely amazing. However, if you think you can do a better job at drawing a picture of yourself with your left hand, if your right hand or right hand, if you're left-handed, please do have a go and show us. And I would love to see what people are able to create from that. So the next one I'm going to do which is a bit of a rogue idea that I thought of earlier, involves toilet roll. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds to run, find some toilet roll. You'll need exactly three pieces, not a whole roll, just three pieces of toilet roll, like... Oh. I've lost my toilet roll. Oh, here it is. Okay, I have got it. So, oh gosh. So, three pieces of toilet roll. Like. like this. And then, what I want you guys to do is see if you can turn these three pieces, just three pieces, into a piece of jewellery. Um, so I think I'm going to make a bracelet. So I want you guys to do this along with me and see what I, what you come up with at the end. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to do a bracelet. I'll see how it goes. Um, my bracelet is going to have a flower on it. So I'll like separate two bits off and then I have one bit and... I'm going to see if I can make a flower. Um, I've seen like napkins that you can fold into flowers. So I'm going to try and do that and see if it works like it does with napkins. Because toilet paper and napkins are similar, right? I think they are. So fold, fold. Folding, and hopefully this turns out better than my star. So that was very bad. Ah, that's kind of a flower, right? Kind of. I can. Yeah, yeah, that works. And then I'm going to, I'm going to cheat with a bit of blue tack. Is that okay? 
I'm going to treat with a bit of blue tack and see if I can get this to look somewhat like a bracelet. Ah, there we go. And then I'm going to roll this up. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Like this. Alright, so how are you guys doing? Comment below. Let me know how your Lou Roll creations are going. A bit more blue tack. Oh gosh. It's not going well. And then a bit more blue tack to stick the flower on. Ta-da! Looks more like a hair scrunchie, to be fair, than, um, than a bracelet. Oh, it's a bit too small. Oh, I'm breaking it. Oh, it's not going well. Right. Woo! Oh, it fell off. So yes, this is my bracelet. I want to see what you guys can make jewelry-wise out of toilet roll. Um, so you can make some necklaces or rings or earrings. That could be an interesting one. Don't know how you do that. Um, yeah, and I want to see all your creations and see if you can beat this flower that I'm actually quite impressed with. It has turned out better than all my other creations today. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is apples. So you need three apples and one thing that's quite fun to do when you're bored is see if you can learn how to juggle. I don't have any juggling balls or sort of balls this size, so I'm using apples. I'm going to hope that I don't bruise them beyond eating because I do like apples. And what I've learned about juggling is that you can't just like pass from one hand to another. Apparently that's cheating. So you have to sort of throw it like that. Ah. And then once you feel like you've got the hang of it, Oh, I feel like I've got it. You can then try and add a third one in. I don't think it's going to go as well with the third one in. Nope. Let me try again. So. Nope, not going well. So I want to see, can any of you guys juggle with apples? Um, well, can any of you guys juggle generally? Because I would love to see what some guy, what some of your talent is with this. I used to be able to struggle better. I haven't, oh gosh, yeah, these are definitely gonna be bruised. I haven't done this in ages. So, yeah, oh. Ah. Yeah. So, apples. Can you juggle with apples? I would really like to know. And then my final one is possibly my favourite one. So you'll just need one fruit or vegetable um, or anything like that. So it can be an apple, but if you don't have an apple, just go quickly grab anything you have from the fridge quickly. I'm going to give you like five seconds to do that. It's so like run, 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 grab, grab, grab. I have definitely bruised this apple. Oh, what a sad looking apple. Oh, wow. Mm. That's quite sad. I might have to eat it quickly after. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to make fruit friends. So a lot of people, a lot of you guys have probably seen this before. You like, yeah, just stick stuff on your fruit or veg to make it look like a person. So yeah, that's exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and draw some things on this bit of paper to then cut out so it will look like a fruit friend. So let's see. 
So, what does my fruit friend need? I don't know what my fruit friend needs. Okay, so, my fruit friend probably needs some lips. So, I'm gonna... Clearly lips are like something I'm not very good at drawing. Oh, that's not how you draw lips. Oh, well, I'm rolling with it now. And then I'm going to colour them in red. So I've got all my nice pens and stuff. And I'm going to... That's red. There we go. There's a red pen. It's quite difficult doing this with only one hand. So what other fruit are you guys trying to create? So yeah, I'm going to have um, an apple. I also want to know if you guys have any suggestions for names for my apple, my little apple friend, once I've done this. Okay, so they've got my apple now has a mouth. What else does my apple need? So my apple needs some eyes. So... It's a lot easier to draw with the hand you're actually supposed to. Actually, I say that. These eyes are very uneven. That's fine. So... So, yes, what... What shall I call my apple? Because my apple doesn't have a name yet. So, the eyes and then... The eye... Patricia the apple, right, I've got a name now. Patricia the apple has long eyelashes. And then a nose. How am I going to draw a nose? I don't know. And then cool. So what I now need to do is cut it up and use the blue tack to try and stick these onto my apple. So yeah, those are that. Oh, I should draw a hat. Oh, I'm going to draw a hat for the apple. What kind of hat should I draw? No, I'll draw like a big sort of like top hat just because I feel like I might actually have some success drawing that. So going to draw a hat for the apple let's see how it goes so can you guys see that yeah just about and then yeah that's a great hat for an apple okay so i'm going to quick color this in and then i can stick it onto my apple Yeah, so I want to know what fruit and stuff you would like to decorate or are decorating at the moment. I think some other cool ideas would be... I have courgette in the fridge, and I know Larry the Cucumber is obviously a cucumber, but I could do like a Larry the Courgette from VeggieTales. Um, or Bob the Tomato. If any of you guys watch VeggieTales, uh, Bob the Tomato and Larry the Cucumber um, go and tell people Bible stories and yeah I could have a whole I could just recreate VeggieTales when I'm bored um, yeah apparently I can't speak and cut out at the same time oh. so yeah does anyone have a better name for this apple than Patricia because otherwise I'm rolling Ooh rolling with Patricia. Right, so I have my hat. This just shows how bad I am at drawing. But anyway, so I have my hat. And now I have my eyes. I haven't thought about how I'm going to cut out the eyelashes, but that's fine. One eye. 
and then the little baby eye because apparently I can't cut things sort of equally or draw them equally and then my nose and I think I might colour in the nose a funky colour. Oh gosh, I think I might colour in my nose a funky colour. What colour should I colour in the nose? Um, let's see. I think I'm going to colour in the nose green because this is a bit of a, like a red apple. So I can then have a bit of green nose. Green, green, green. There we go. Nope, nope. So there's my nose. It's a bit like a water droplet. And then the mouth. Oh, I cut off the edge of the mouth. It's okay. It's okay. All's good. Um. Cool. So I have a mouth. So now I'm just going to stick them all on and try and make my apple look normal for a fruit friend okay so there's a bit there's the mouth oh. there's the nose so i've got a mouth and a nose One eye. And two eyes. And then my top hat. <clears throat> you can't forget the top hat. The top hat is very important. Woo! I'm quite impressed with Patricia the apple. Um, with the little top hat and the lashes and all that other stuff. So yeah, I want to see what fruit friends you guys make as well. And unfortunately, I thought none of you guys were commenting because it hasn't come up on here. But apparently you guys have this whole time. So I've just looked on here. So hi Christian, hi Nick, hi Vicky. Um... I would really be interested to know what I was doing when you guys said that you were scared. Um, what was I doing probably at that time? Was I juggling? I might have been juggling really badly at that point. Or doing my scary self-portrait. Actually, that makes sense. That is terrifying. I do get that. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of all the stuff that I've made and put them on our... Youth for Christ, no, on the Norwich Youth for Christ um, Instagram stories, that's the word I'm looking for, on the Instagram stories and so I can remind you of all the stuff that I've tried to do, like the star, I don't know where that went wrong, I thought I was doing really well with that and hopefully you guys can show us what you've been doing, so yes, I hope you all have a great week and I'm looking forward to seeing your fruit friends, so 